Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be working on the heater and replacing it. So as you can see, we've got the old one here. It's a little cracked. The pieces have been snapped off. Trying to take it out, we got the other parts for it. And we have the new one. Looks better. So you ever do these, these the plastic dry rots? So even the smaller tabs, the ones that hold in the uh, plugs and the clips, even those break. These cracks were all already here. This tab was missing. The other one popped right off. Um, yeah, they're just very, very delicate after so many years. Unfortunately, they're extremely expensive. This one was, I believe, uh, $289. So you can see here somebody already messed with this one originally. Looks a little better to be the brand new one. So we're going to get that installed and see if that's the problem. Yep, and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned. Installation is usually pretty easy. There's only three plugs. These ones are in better condition than the old ones. So, clip right in. So the main reason why we're doing this is because Mackenzie had lost the other three. All she had was just high. So this on. Whoops. one we're missing here. I don't know. We're gonna keep digging and we'll be back. My bad. I forgot that I had already started to disassemble the heater fan so that we could uh, swap out the heater fan itself also. So, unfortunately we still have only high so that means that somewhere in the bowels of that box at the very bottom is this little magic piece of electronics. Comes with a gasket and everything. And this is a little uh, module and this helps you select from low to high. And that is up in there somewhere. So we're gonna have to dig for that. Hopefully it won't be too far in there. But that's uh, next and we'll be right back all right and we're gonna take these screws out of here and get going that's one there's about seven or eight here from what i was told Get this off and stay tuned. <laughs> 